the high ground. Curse from No Tail comes out to the three and the Thompson deep in out of it. Oh, hang on. They'll take him into the snowball. They want to keep this fight going. They get on top of the snail. They'll take down the egg. They'll find the egg. They'll punch Crit up. Crit's going to fall. They're oh, all dead. Not as well as the team one. Oh, my Lord. Oh, 30. 32 intelligence. 30. Over. It's a good curse, but Thompson, has he got the move for speed to get out of this one? He does not. FY, low on life. No talent with another plus two. 26 intelligence stolen. X Nova. Seb couldn't trap him in. Jirax's vision won't be able to arrive in time either, so instead they can look towards the Wraith King. They know his reincarnation is down for so long. There's your fissure, create some space, lock him in with a sprout, and no tell on 10 HP will get the kill onto Chalice. A big spree to end. Or one of five. Use the Winner's Curse onto the Invoker, but he has a Lincolns now. Oh, no tell. That Arcane Room couldn't possibly have been worth it, could it, Scythe? And uh, Grana's gonna get on top of the Sun Strike! He wow. does manage to kill, no fear, no tail, with the Sprout control up, and now Nagrana's gonna be caught! There's the OG, they're gonna bail out, no tail, the Arcane Room was worth it! They might just be able to get Roshan because of this. They are 1k up, mainly the bottom lanes where they're putting so much pressure. There is 5 CS on the Drow Ranger at minute 430. Yeah, is this why Nortel is also running underneath the tier 2 town to deny himself? He took the creep wave with him. Not that's just so Seb can be a little bit more aggressive into the town. They're only uh, going to do Thompson. minimal damage. Yeah, Thompson's very low, bottling up. Somnus has three points up in these burning spears, and Thompson, no tell, he's going to arrive, he's going to give the bottle charges over, oh. and Thompson is still, he's bottle charging between the burning spears to stay alive. If he did not have no tell TP in and actually die in the bottom lane, that would never have been a survival. So Armour is nearby. Uh, and underneath not the anymore. Observer Ward, yeah, yeah, the homing missile comes for him. That Observer was in a really yeah. good position for LGD. They go in under the drone range of the Nether Blast. Almost off a killer off. The Ray Fire Blast. No tail was too far forward. And Thompson, will he actually die to the UL? He'll die to FY Splinter Blast. Jirax is still very low. Got to get rid of the bugs. But here, let it go. X Nova needs a good cast bound. He's going to get it. And we've got the Maledict out. So Io is the leader. But Anna stands his ground. Io fights back. Relocating in. Needs to give the extra life. And OG stands strong. It's the real green wall. FY up and away. They got a little extra vision, Seb, he just needs one more impetus and that'll do the job! Mation, but... A little bit harder, here comes OG. Clone will be created, they look towards Roshan, he's down to 3.5k, Spectral Horn is up, and X Nova, here comes the Spectral Horn, to the front line, Thompson using the clone inside, and the echo! Jirax, he got the jump, the perfect hit, Thompson's got the double kill, they've just got the numbers, that's what happens when you can clone yourself, FY, he's trapped inside the cogs, but it's OG who will willingly trap in there with him, LGD in real trouble! I don't think Nortel believes he can do anything here, but he can when the rest of his team will arrive, all five players for OG, Running forward, Chalice does at least get the kill on the top, but what is the cost? Somnus, the cold embrace, protected for the moment, not to mention the power to cast, they just can't attack and get one last life break off, but it's really the space grave for Chalice. He's brought down, they had the vision. Chikuchi underneath the sentry ward of OG gives us a three for four trade, one last long range. Bounty <laughs> rooms. They're gonna be the ones that play three. Top lane, a bit of a dive going on to Annie. He's got five stacks at the moment on him. No tail, will TP and Chalice is tanking quite a bit in the tower. Stick charges are there from Anna. He's moving. As Anna will be fine though, I don't think. By the looks of it, Chalice, check the stick charge. RP. Yeah. Bottom lane. No tail trying to set up onto Somnus. They'll run it forward, Anna. The boat's already out there for Somnus. Somnus trying to look at the trees. He's hunting actually down No tail. The global silence comes out. Anna not quite able to get on top of X Nova as X Nova keeps his distance. Somnus just turning and beating down on No Tail. No Tail will go down as well as Som X Nova. One for one at the moment. The sentry down here from OG. They have eyes on Somnus. Seb still holding him for the side. Then there'll be a line up for No Tail. The boat, the stolen boat, the RP coming through. They're jumping in the red point there with a the slam. Ready to hold off for the fight. But Chalice is so low. Chalice is going to go down. PSG OGD, they've lost three FY with the TPL. Won't make it. The slide of this. The change. Anna catches out the shake. It's going to team him back in time before the crack kills. Sit there on the high ground, ready for the counter play, are they? Getting sprouted, Chalice looks to make a play, jumps in, immediately going for it with the lasso. Has he got the control to get the damage out? He can. Does the Viana dead? But Anna buys back straight away, are they moving in with the BKB? Roach is still alive throughout this all. They've lost Thompson, the slide, the chains, the remnant across. They'll get the kill off to Chalice, Global. but now he's in the middle of it all. Yields it himself up, the flame guard ticking it right down, like the slide of fish, the RP. Seb, he's got the control on Tarve as OG. They fight free. They look towards Somnus, surrounding him in the pit. Somnus, he'll go down as 
as well. The buyback from Anna, securing the fight here for OG. There's only Exova left alive, but not for long. They chase him down, they get the T1 triple. Okay, that shackle is hilarious. Oh my goodness, and what a team by Anna. He's gonna, uh, uh, level 20 for talent, he will attack everything that his tether target attacks. Get ready, they're just gonna end it. They can end it because they can. Of that. Look, Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and, and this is backdoor protection, by the way. This is backdoor protection. Dude, I guarantee they're doing this on purpose. They're like, guys, don't even get the creep wave. Yep, I love Peter, he knows. He's like, wait, this game's probably over, but what can we do? Still backdoor protection. They are just melting it. There will be support and it's going to be two. Lincoln's still proc one. They find the access type. 